Hello ladies and welcome back to Chengi's World. You know it's on and popping up in here. <laughs> so if you're new to my channel, I am Chengi and you my precious one are my world. So welcome to my world. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment if you like this video and share, share, share. I am going to be talking today about the guy codes. Okay. We're going to be talking about some of the things that men say to us and whilst their words are saying one thing, what they mean is something else. Okay. So he's saying one thing, but actually he means something else. What he's saying to you is, is something else. So we're going to go through five guy codes. Now I did this on my Instagram. I did a whole sort of codes for what men mean on Instagram. And uh, one of my friends was like, you've got to do a video on this. There are more, so guys, do follow me on Instagram at Chengi's World or Facebook because that's where I do a lot of my other bits in between the week when I'm inspired and I want to just share something and I can't wait for a recording, but I really want that information out. You are going to get it on my social media platforms, especially on Instagram. So join me Instagram and Facebook at Chengi's World. So make sure you follow me there. And if your profile is public, I will follow you back. Um, if I sort of agree and love what you represent, which I'm sure I will, because you're an angel and you're part of my world. So that's uh, that done and dusted. <coughs> you're gonna have to forgive me <clears throat> because I feel fine, I feel great, but the weather is turning and when it's winter and is going into spring, my throat gets a bit funny when whenever there's a sort of change in season my throat gets a little bit funny um so i might have to stop and get maybe a glass of water if it gets bad but for now i think we're going to be good so we're going to start with some of the things that you have to totally not tolerate and absolutely avoid uh when it comes to to some of the things that men say so code number one is my kids come first now what i was saying on my instagram was like a man who, and any responsible parent who is responsible and loves their children would never, ever, ever date somebody who they would have to say that to, right? As a parent myself, as a single mom, I nev never had to say that to a guy because that is one of the things I am looking to see in their behavior if they understand. So if I feel like a man doesn't seem to understand my situation, that I've got a child that comes first, then it's a non, it's a no brainer. That, that is a non-negotiable. Most parents who are responsible and thoughtful are not even going to entertain even a, a glimpse of, of, of the idea that, um, you know, this person might not be pro their children because we put our kids first. Now, why is he saying that? Why is he saying my kids come first? What he's saying is that he doesn't want you to be a part of his inner circle. What he's telling you is that there's a me and my kids, then there's you. That means you will never be a part of my inner circle. You will never be a part of our world. They are here. You were there. And the situation that you will face is that when he is ready to ghost you, mess around, play around and keep you out, he will always use the children as his excuse. I've dated guys who are like this, who are thinking, I got a kid too, you know, like who did the whole, my kids come first, my money spent on my kids. And I realized that what he was doing was preempting. And men like to do this a lot, beg your pardon, where they preempt the situation, they kind of go before you, before the situation, and um, they sort of preempt it. So they sort of um, sort of tell you what the problem is going to be before it starts. They're very clever because that way it sort of eases their conscience that they warned you. So if you went along with it, then that's your fault, silly girl. So what he he's saying is basically i have my children i have my life i have my intimacy you're not a part of it and therefore when i am ready to misbehave or ready to treat you badly i'm gonna blame the kids oh i've got to be with the kids i've got to spend more time with the kids the kids really matter the kids are going through this my daughter's done this and my son has done this so i can't see you so you are the moron if you insist you are the moron if you feel some kind of way so a woman who when you hear a man saying that that is an alarm bell and you really should run because he's already telling you that 
my kids are going to become an issue here and i am and if you make an issue of it then you're the moron you're the one who doesn't understand he's really not trying to let you in because a man that is trying to let you in will use words such as my daughter would love you or you would love my daughter she's so funny they talk about their children they talk about what their children do they're proud of their children because they want to sell their kids to you right they want to sell them to you so that you will like them before you meet them because in their minds, they're already planning for you to meet them. So they'll be saying, oh, and my son, he plays football. Oh, he's really crazy. He really likes this and this, da, 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 da. And he's selling his children as, as, you know, oh, they would love you or you would love Sally. Um, they, that is a guy that you want to be dating and spending time with because he's somebody who is saying, my world is open to all of us. I am ready for to embrace somebody who will become a part of my world. And that guy is definitely the guy that you need to be dating and spending time with and investing time with because he is welcoming you into his world. Whenever I date a guy and I start talking about Josh, very rarely do I ever talk about my son. Even on this channel, I'm sure you found I hardly speak about him. I'm very protective. <coughs> But when I am on a date and I start to talk about my son, it means I am ex I'm including this guy. I'm letting him know, oh, Josh is very much like this and Josh finds that funny. And Josh thinks this and the other. Because I am preparing him to get to know Josh and, to, and, and, and I'm testing to see whether or not he remembers certain facts. Really bad. But as a parent, that, that protective instinct is very much there. Um, then the number two thing is when guys keep talking about their money, how much they earned last year and how much and how much. Now, us girls, if you're anything like me, I'm like bored. I'm bored. When can we go? Uh, the moment a man starts talking to me about money, I feel like he's trying to buy me or trying to, um, like, I feel like the next sentence that's going to come out of his mouth is, so how much will it cost to have sex with you? Like, I, I don't know what it is, but it gets my hair raising. It used to get me so mad. Um, I don't, I think it's such a crass conversation to have. It's classless. It's, it's just, ew. it really just used to put my back up because it's like, Oh, you know, don't talk about money, you know, um, not in that sort of raw form. I don't really want to know what you earn because I feel as though number one, you're putting, you're trapping me a little bit because if I, if I wasn't particularly feeling you and now that you've shared a bit of whatever your information is, maybe the conversation has just got better, but you're just going to think, oh, she likes me now that she knows how much I earn. And then, then we have to deal with a whole gold digger thing that really drives me crazy because once men share how much they earn then they kind of attesting to see if you're gold dick oh it's just long-winded so i generally don't like men talking about their money but that's also because i completely didn't understand why they do it because most men do it what he's really trying to do is impress you what he's really trying to do is let you know that he can provide for you at a certain level there's a certain kind of lifestyle that he can provide so you know he is simply trying to impress you he he wants you to um to know that he's capable of being a provider so that's the guy code that's him saying i can provide for you so the best thing to do in that scenario is to congratulate him for his achievements tell him how much you you, you know that's amazing for you to have achieved that that's incredible and i'm sure you'll do so much better in you know in times to come and really appreciate a man that works hard and earns his way you know just congratulate him make him feel good and make a note that this guy is saying I am a provider. The third thing, I'm going to look at my notes, so forgive me if I keep looking down, is I'll make it up to you. Ah! Now, how many times, girls, hands up in the comment section, put me, me, M-E, never ending. If, 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 you have had a guy say to you, oh, I'll make it up to you. Now, girls, you know and I know that very rarely is that guy going to do anything okay a guy that says i'm gonna make it up to you is really saying can we let this one go like can we just let this one slide um i kind of feel bad i really don't want to go into it can we just let it slide can we just like forget about it now you're a girl and you're like he's gonna make it up to me it's actually a really cute very cute way of getting by a woman's defenses but a man who really is going to make it up to you, a man who is serious about making it up, who really feels bad and wants to make it up to you, will say, how can I make it up to you? How can I make it up to you? What can I do to make it up to you? And in that moment, he wants you to respond. Well, you could take me out for dinner or you could buy me diamonds or whatever you, you, you feel in that moment would make it up to you. 
or he will say to you, when can I make it up to you? So when are you free so I can make it up to you? Um, that guy is a guy who genuinely wants to make it up to you. He's not trying to let this one slide. He's not trying to get off easy. So when a guy says, I'll make it up to you, just pretty much be like, forget it, whatever, like whatever. But if he says, how can I make it up to you? Or when can I make it up to you? He's asking you a question. He's putting himself on the spot so that you can tell him what to do. So I'll make it up to you. Mm, keep on moving. Okay. The third, fourth one is, I'm not looking for anything serious, but you could change my mind. That's a really good one. Men use that a lot. <laughs> okay. So how many... Put your hands up in the comment section and say, yes, number four, number four, put number four or number three or number one. If you have met or heard this before, just put the number in the comment section. I want to, I want to do a poll and see how many of these things we hear all the time. Now, this one is absolutely classic. Number four, I'm not looking for anything serious, but you could change my mind. What he is telling you is he's not looking after anything serious. He's not about to change his mind, but... If you will let him sleep with you, he will let you think that he's gonna, you're going to change his mind. So this guy is saying to you, I am really not after anything serious. I'm not looking for a commitment. I'm not looking for a girlfriend. I am not looking for anything. I am simply looking to have a good time. Now, if you don't manage to change my mind, that's not my problem. Because what he's doing is putting the onus on you to change his mind. So... You failed to change my mind, girl, but the sex was good, thanks, or the company was good, thanks, or whatever it is he came for was good, thank you. I'm still not ready. You failed to make me ready. And then, of course, you look and feel like a moron. So, long story short, um, we are, you know, he's really just saying to you, um, thank you, but no thank you. Then number five, I'm just being honest with you. I'm just being honest with you. Um, I'm just being honest with you. Guys in general, not because they're liars, but men in general don't like to tell women the truth. So if you said, do my, does my bum look big in this? And he feels like your answer is going to be no. He's going to be like, no, no. Um, or if, you know, if there's something that's, not so perfect about you he's not gonna want to be the guy that says that out loud you know um so when a guy comes up to you and and says something that is mean or you know i don't really like girls with golden hair um i really prefer my women to be to be brunette i'm just being honest with you what he's doing is actually playing a game a dating game he's playing silly games what he's doing is bringing you down a notch so that you don't think you're anything special so you think to yourself, you know what, I guess I'm nothing special. Um, he, he, he wants to bring you down a notch. And I'm just being honest. He's not being honest. He's actually just wanting to say something that brings you down a notch and come across as an honest person. And you're supposed to be like, well, at least he was honest because you're like a girl. Okay, so you're going to get smarter because you're part of Chengi's world. And if you're not yet, make sure you subscribe, you know, press the notification bell so that you can get sent. So you can get clever okay so um you know he's really just playing a game where he brings you down a notch so that he can be the solution to your problem or so you can accept him it's really not rarely 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 does a man want you to say anything that will hurt a, a woman's feelings but if he caveats it with i'm just being honest he's not just being honest he's playing a game so thank you for your honesty mr big stuff you're gonna take your honesty and take it over there Okay, because I need men who are honest about where they were last night. You know what I'm saying? Not about the size of my behind. Okay, hello. Thank you. Thank you very much. You can keep on moving. Okay, I might come up with a few more for you. And if I do, I'll stick them on my Instagram or maybe do a second video. We'll see how many more come I come up with. But I will be looking up for you, for you fabulous ladies. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care of you and I'll see you soon in my next video. Love you lots. Mwah.